So it is time for another set of Aussie memes, number 41 to 50. Now, I do apologise for part four last week because it was rubbish. They me The memes were absolutely dreadful. So I apologise. However, I've got a new source given to me by an Aussie, so they should be okay. Um, however, bear in mind the BuzzFeed ones, although it's BuzzFeed, I did find Milo, I did find Russell Coit and The Castle, which me and the wife watched the other day. Fantastic film. Fantastic film. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. So here are number 41 to 50. Let's go. So let's get started on number 41. Now my list has gone completely haywire, but let's let's go. Now when your friend uses miles per hour instead of snags per Bunnings. Now, Bunnings is is, is is your version of our B&Q, the old DIY store, isn't it? And, I, and you have, I'm going to assume it's something to do with um, Bunnings have the old barbecue out front. So is it like the sausages, length of sausages? That's what I'm going to assume. That's what I'm going to assume. Length of sausages, in that's your uh, measurement of distance. Yeah. I'm not sure why it's a picture of uh, Steve Irwin, though. Meanwhile, in Australia, how fresh is your fish? Please don't tell me you get these birds just randomly entering your uh, fish counters, dear. However, you should have really, really good fish because the amount of coastline and your fish should be amazing. And I love fish. I don't like fish, but I love shellfish. Cockles. Mm. People think this is a funny thing. Now, when when you talk about things like marmite, vegemite, um, it's love and love, love or hate. I love cockles. I love cockles, and I make my wife try them every time I have some, and she knows I know she hates them. That, yeah, I've gone off on a tangent, but. Cockles. Mm. Do you have cockles in Australia? You should do, shouldn't you? Yeah, anyway, let's continue. When you get your exam results back and you somehow scrape to pass, is that basically everyone else fell over? Everyone else fell over and you just somehow dodge past and get through. I'm not sure how it's Aussie, but let's continue because it's not very Aussie. Australia really needs to invent a Shazam for spiders so I can tell if it, if this thing on the wall is a daddy long legs or a bitey death maker 3000. Maybe you need an app. Maybe you need an app on your phone because um, you get one for like vegetation and, and there's a dog one and you can a little bit like Google Lens. Maybe Google Lens will work. I can't connect to the Wi-Fi network. You might want to check the connection settings in the Google Home app. Bloody Google. Yeah, maybe you need that app to, to tell you if something's deadly or it just looks scary. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Have any of you had a spider, a tarantula or a spider like that crawling over you? Like, without actually intending on it crawling over you? Like, without you picking it up? Have you had a spider on you? Because... My dad has tarantulas. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're creepy. No, thank you. Just no, thank you. I would... Oh, man. Oh. Here's a good one. Let's take the mick out of the Americans, or the Yanks. American bald eagle. One of the smallest eagles in the world. Only its little fish. Basically a glorified <laughs> seagull. Australian wedge-tail eagle, one of the largest eagles in the world, hunts large mammals include... No. An eagle cannot hunt a kangaroo. Surely not. Surely not. Can see infrared and ultraviolet. Only eagles in the world that attacks parachutes and paragliders. See, I'm sorry, Aussies. You know... I can't help going on the stereotype. Everything I see is playing on the stereotype of 
your your wildlife are psychos. You just had spiders. You've now got the the Australian wedgetail eagle. What just how a no wonder why your population is so is so low for lo, such a large area. It's not that half of your area is your country is inhabitable, unhabitable. It's the fact that all your animals are killing you. <laughs> Next up. I don't even know what number I'm on. Americans, we need guns to defend ourselves. Australia. Melbourne man fights off carjacker with a Nescafe blend 43 jar. Is that the really huge ones? Because I think we've got them over here, to be fair. They are huge. I don't really drink coffee, but I I used to work in Tesco's and I've sold huge ones. Coffee vial. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. Next. Okay, here's more of an Aussie one. Okay, right. Let's see what we've got. Aussie food pyramid. At the top is your fairy bread. Now, I might just do a wind up here. And it's basically a fairy bread I've been told is bread, butter, and hundreds and thousands, or you might call them sprinkles or whatever you want to call them. Oh, I'll be tempted to try it with bread jam, because I don't eat butter or marge or any of the pretenders. Have bread jam and then hundreds, hundreds and thousands. I might do that. And even if it's just to wind the Aussies up, I might do a video of that. I'm going to make a note. I'm literally making a note right now. Fairy bread with jam. I'm going to do it. If it winds you up and triggers you, even better. Um, okay. Uh, you've got your... It's not oh, It's not moon cake. What is it? What is it? I can't remember what it's called, but you sell it in Woolies and everyone loves it and it's cheap. It's cheap. It's like $2 or something, whatever it is, US dollars. You all love it, apparently. Uh, Tim Tams. I've said I've made the jokes already about penguins and them being the same. I'm only joking. Tim Tams are probably much better. I've had one tip. What have I had two? Tim Tim Tams are a little bit thicker and less less crunchy. If anyone wants to send me some Tim Tams, I will try it and I will do the old donkey slam, whatever you want to call it, with Milo. Uh, Victoria beer. Now apparently it's nice. I don't. I don't. I'm a cider drinker, so I don't know, but it can't be worse than Foster's, can it? That all these English people drink. Bloody idiots. Um, shapes. I don't know what shapes are. What are shapes? It's fairly high up, mid-table, mid the pyramid. Milo. Oh, Milo, I love Milo. I haven't got much left of my tin, though. Might have to purchase some more. Uh, wheat Bix, which is basically our Wheater Bix. I don't understand why, it's, why you guys like it, because it's the driest thing ever. It's literally like eating straw, really like baked hard straw with no flavour. But you guys like it, so each their own. Bunnings, we got this Bunnings. This is a theme now. Bunnings do their little barbecue out the front of their, of their store, which is weird. Why would a hardware store do, cook, do a barbecue? That's weird. Saying that, outside our home base and, bar and B and Q's, which is our hardware stores. We do always seem to have a burger van selling burgers. Maybe it's it's um, catering to all the um, all the uh, workers. We'll go to Vegemite. Vegemite. Now, you're, some people are telling me it's not the same as Marmite, but I don't know. I'll have to try that. A thin, very thin slice. Um, and then that is, is that, what is that? Is that your mince pie, like our Christmas mince pies? Basically, a fruit. Hmm. Yeah. I'd like to try to... Oh, actually, I'd like to try all of them. Actually, no. No, I wouldn't like to try all of them. I'm going to mess about... I'm going to I'm gonna really annoy you guys and do a fairy, fairy, fairy bread video. I'm going to do it with jam. I'd like to try some Tim Tams. Just to double check they're not the same as penguins. Um, the, um, the cake thing, I'd like to try that. If it's that as good as people say. Beer. Yeah, I'll try beer. It all tastes the same to me, though. As a cider drinker. That's... Yeah, so um, let's we'll do one more. I don't even know if the numbers are right. I'm going to pretend it was 10 we've done. Um, oh, not Bunnings again. Are you guys obsessed with Bunnings? Only one business in the galaxy gets you this rich. A Bunnings barbecue. Honestly, are you obsessed? Is it a little bit like in um, Costco 
when you go to Costco, you have to have their hot dog. You have to have a hot dog and a drink afterwards. I think that is a similar situation. Well, I hope these were a little bit better. There was a couple that weren't very Aussie, except that second and last one for sure. Um, that was very Aussie. And there were some that weren't. Um, hope that was a little bit better. It wasn't BuzzFeed, so that's a good start. If you did enjoy, like, subscribe, and I will catch you next time.